everybody, Lefty here. I'm coming at you today with a game called What Never Was, and this game is about a girl named Sarah who has to clean out her grandfather's attic and find some things. So this is a puzzle type game, uh, like looking for clues or whatnot. So let's get into it and see what happens. Hey mom, where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Screw Grandpa! Okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I love how her mom just sounded like a character from Charlie Brown. <laughs> I'm oh. really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right, let's do this. What's with my hands are kind of wonky. <laughs> I like it, but they're kind of weird at the same time. All right, now I'm in the attic. Well, yeah, I oh, figured that one out. Thomas cello. So this is where it ended up. It ended up in the closet, like most cellos. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. A desk drawer. Really? A desk, You're just going to tell me that it's a desk drawer? You're not going to open it? A desk drawer. It? A desk drawer. Uh, okay. Well, a I... A desk drawer. Uh, uh, a desk drawer. All right. Well, that's just nothing. Okay. Well, that was worthless. It's a magnifying glass. For magnifying glass. Wait. Right mouse button. It's locked. It's locked. Oh, that's... It's that's locked. the first time I've it's seen locked. anything it's that's locked. like, it's oh, look, right mouse it's button. It's locked. Oh, it's does she have to locked. say it every time, though? Does she have to tell me that it's locked it's every time? Lamp. That's kind of a... a desk drawer. Yeah, I know it's a desk drawer. Oh, a can torn I... out page. Can I, can I... Do I have to pick... Oh, I picked it up. All right. Elstein, also sometimes known as troll stones, the subject of Scandinavian folklore, normal rocks with holes in them the size of an acorn were considered lucky, otherworldly, and useful. Hung from the neck of livestock, it would protect them and their farmers alike from malicious predators, trolls, and even incubi. And in some tells the owner of a true Elstein is also able to see the otherwise invisible common troll through the hole of the rock. Ah, so I have part of that. While several of these were on display, only one of them looked to be the one I was looking for. Carved in a way that no average jeweler could and with an or in place of where a hole should be. I didn't acquire it through the most honest of means, but no one can, no one came to harm and I'm sure its disappearance won't be noticed. I do wonder how it fits into all of this though. I must study it thoroughly. Alright, so uh, I got a note. Nothing in that top drawer. All right, well, let's look around for some keys. Maps. Maps. Lots of maps. Oh, I got so many maps. Ah, the old grandma phone. The old grandpa phone. The grandpa phone. You just call grandpa. It seems no coincidence that both the resting place of Pile and Paraguagua? I want to say Paraguay, but, you know... What happened to be in mountains? The trek has gone well. And although the winds are ominous, my clothing and necessities have carried me well so far. The guide I hired upon arrival have proved invaluable, not only in his knowledge of the thick forest, but also for his rich knowledge in his company. Didn't you just say his knowledge? Why would you say that again? Not unexpectedly, the symbol of water could be found at the peak of the summit, along with the alchemic symbols of water. Again, these symbols seem interconnected, and while one set are alchemic symbols known to many people, the other seems strange, of no cultural design that at least I am knowledgeable of. The encounter on Hawaii makes me certain that the other two elements must bear significance as well. What will I find on this mountain? Well, I found page two and page five, so I'm reading all this stuff out of order. I don't know if it matters at all. Shu, <laughs> Egypt. And a symbol of a swirl? <laughs> what a globe. Huh. Grandpa sure had some cool stuff that I've never seen. Of course he did. Let's oh, let's hit okay. the button. These can be pushed. These can be pushed. Ah there's more than one. That doesn't seem to be it. How about that one. And oh, can I hit that one? 
Okay, that one, that one, that one? Ah, uh, shoot. I'll get it. Hold on. I don't, I don't need to know the thing. I just, I've already figured out the first two. That one. And then this one. Yeah. ba -dum! I did it. You did it! Yeah, girl! It looks like, is this the second part of my necklace? Yeah. Did I, did I hurry to, like, complete the game without meaning to? Ooh, pretty neat. Sweet! You picked up part of a necklace. Press V. Whoa. 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 Oh, okay. It's There's a, small, a key. Simple key. Maybe it fits the desk. All right, cool beans. Look at that. There's some glowy stuff over here. I finally landed on Hawaii and will soon begin my arduous climb of Ma... 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 Na, la, ML. <laughs> I'm not much of a climber, but I am filled with determination. I will, however, first take some days to recuperate from the very tiresome travel from which my fear of flights did not exactly improve. Not only was the pilot rude and dismissive of safety protocol, he also seemed completely unsure at times of what he was doing. He would not be allowed to be a pilot. Regardless, I am here. I will spend the coming days in the village of Pahala, whatever secrets Pele, goddess of fire, holds that is now within my grasp. I have definitely reached the right place. Although I am wary from travel, I am too excited to sleep. The villagers are friendly, but warn me of hurting customs, something I have no intent to do. I have also noticed the alchemic symbol of fire etched over people's doorways. It connects to Pele, of course, but it is, is it linked to the crest I've sought as well? Probably, Grandpa. That's probably what all those things I had to look up with the symbols and stuff, but I didn't do that first. I just went for it. Mm. Mm, I need the a key. The key I have doesn't fit here. Oh, so the key doesn't go. Oh, look! Oh, man. My old A station. I oh, old old A station. Let's oh. Let's recorder. Let's play it. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. Oh, we're just now getting so the beginning else credits. Is listening and they can sort off immediately. A sort please. off. <laughs> Sarah, if you are listening to this, then it means well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. Can I literally just, just start the credits without meaning to? <laughs> so chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother. But there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... <sighs> I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it... it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help. But I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. That was probably the most interesting way I have ever seen credits done. And I honestly will say, as much as it kind of threw me off and I was like, credits right now, I was also kind of like, no, this is pretty good. I, I like the fact that that's what they did. Boy, I can turn on the music. Oh, I love this old type of music. I'm such a weirdo. All right, I'll turn it off. Enough of that. Enough of that. Ah, there we go. It's locked. Huh. Oh, it's a little closer. Z. Really and has a combination lock on it. 
Uh, hmm. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I wonder if Pele would work. Okay, but well, this will unlock every other, all the drawers. There's nothing in this one. Let's try this one. Nope. All right, that one. Ah, there's something. An old photograph found in Grandpa's desk. It says Sultan Hassan Mosque Madrasa, Egypt, 1966. Must have been from one of his trips. All right, cool. Another journal journal page. All I've worked for, it's here. I know it. The necklace in the temple in China made all the difference, and now I'm finally in Africa, hoping to set the burning sensation of curiosity to peace. The symbols line up and my calculations were correct. The anonymous mail I received helped on a grand scale, but I still have not managed to figure out the sender. Regardless, the last piece of knowledge should be here, in Egypt. And after having evaded my guide, I have now found the symbols. It's time. Time to learn what it is behind these strange connections and events. Well, like, I've already figured out the globe. Oops. Oopsie doopsie. I already figured out how the globe works. I already kind of jumped ahead of the game a bit. Alright, um... Let's see, what else is... Aha! Another journal! The alchemic symbol of Earth combined with a Chinese one for tree. While a trip has yet again gone well, and my research has gone again led me to these symbols... I can draw no conclusion. I've spent most of my life researching these mythological connections, yet again, I reach my destination and nothing. Almost as if this is all an extremely elaborate prank. I sometimes wonder if my daughter is right. Months, nay years of planning, only to eventually find a temple or shrine with another symbol, another riddle, and another clue. However, at the same time, it feels like I'm so close to finding some... Just kind of... Side of the very end there. Like, no! Nah! There's nothing else for me to do. Alright, well, nothing in there. Alright, cool beans. Oh, I, just... I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. It sounds perfect. It sounds beautiful. A desk drawer. Alright. No, not that one. The top one. The top one's the one. I want the top. Oh, thank you. Gosh. <laughs> what would the code be? Let me think. Pile was over there. Um, how did I look through the... I looked through it this way, that's right. Ah, look, there's symbols. There's symbols over here. Do these mean something? Oh, it's the same symbols as before. My grandfather's grandfather clock. Hmm. Hmm. The key I... Well, I know the key wouldn't fit there. I'm just looking at it. The key I have doesn't fit here. Okay, I I know it wouldn't. So maybe... Because we already... We already figured out the globe. Ah, maybe this will... Uh, yeah, there we go. That's what I need. I need to do it. Oh, the code is Pixie. It's me. I'm the code. Oh, look at that. I'm the code. Oh, collector. Hi, clock. Why are you why are you going ding dong? Ding dong. Ding dong. Okay. Okay. I'm with you, girl. Kind of creepy how that worked. All right. Uh, is there a particular... I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't know if this thing's gonna tell me when I have it right. It's stuck in place. Oh, it's stuck? It won't budge. That one is. Alright, so I gotta... Oh! Ah. Ah. Maybe that. Oh, budge. Oh, kind of. Okay, well. <laughs> I gotta look at the journals and stuff. What? Is there anything in here? Okay, Hawaii was first. And that was the fire symbol. 
when that was Pele, the goddess of fire. So it was fire. Then it was, that was Pele, by the way. And then there was water. And then the symbol of earth or the tree. Ah, and the alchemic symbol, which was the upside down triangle with the cross through it and the little bitty tip of a nose. And then a tree. Okay. And then... And then the last one is the opposite way. And it's a, that really funny looking circle. And then of course there's the, the necklace piece. So hold on a second. That's that one. Ah, this one, the water one, was just the triangle with the down. And then this one must have been just the triangle going up, right? Ah, with the fire symbol on the inside. All right, so if that's the case, let's look at this. So the fire symbol, the symbol going up should be budge. the fire it's symbol. It's stuck in place. It They're both stuck in place? Okay, well maybe that, maybe that did something. Oh, okay. So there's four. I didn't notice the other two. <laughs> Don't know why I didn't notice these two. Alright, so then this is going to go here. No, it's not. It's going to go to the water. Shove it to water. And water symbol was this, but upside down. It won't budge. Okay. And then this one... It won't budge. Yes, as long as all the other ones it's won't budge, it's fine. I don't care that the other ones won't move. It won't budge. And then that one. And then we're going to do that one. It won't budge. All right. Well, now what do I do? I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. <gasps> oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. These have the symbols on them. I'm not a smart cookie. All right, so this one should actually go here. All right, that's gonna change. Yeah, well, I probably need to select the clock hand somehow. Okay, so this it's one stuck in place. that's upside down goes to the water, which is right here. Budge. Yeah, that one won't budge. So hold on, we gotta make it budge. Move. Uh, is that one right? No. This one is actually going to go down here to the fire. This one's gonna go up somewhere. I'm gonna leave it there for right now. This one I'm going to bring back around to where it's supposed to be. It's stuck in place. I know it's Is stuck in it? place. There we go! I did it! Aha! <laughs> That's it! I figured it out! What's happening? No. No, no, no! I'm going to space! Or I'm traveling into a different dimension. That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story, for another time. What? No! Don't do this to me! It was so good! Oh, I was so interested. I wanted to play more. Okay. Why? Ah. Oh, that 
that's the game what never was. And honestly, for a short game it was, and I, I believe it's, I'd have to check, but I think the price is free at this point in time. That was, an, I really enjoyed that. I'd really want to see more of this game. I hope that whoever's making this or made this is actually planning on making more of this because this was fantastic. I had so much fun. <laughs> I got pulled into that. I was like, yeah, magic, let's do it. And then the game ended and then I got sad because it was all gone. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will definitely be coming back with some Resident Evil Two again with this weekend, continuing Leon's journey with some live streams. So don't think I've given up on that or stopped. I am going to get back into it. And but I did want to give this game a go and uh, try it out. And I'm actually happy I did because it just came out recently. So if you guys want to check it out, I'll have it in the comments down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll check you guys later. Bye.